Dear friends in Christ, this is the night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life. The Church invites her children throughout the world to gather in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord, in which through word and sacrament we share in his victory over death. Let us pray. Almighty God, we share in the light of your glory through your Son, the light of the world. Make holy this new fire and fill us with new hope. Purify our minds by this Easter celebration that we may come to share in your eternal glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your true light, set us aflame with the fire of your love and bring us to the radiance of your heavenly glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, yesterday, today and always, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him. To him be all glory and power throughout every age, now and forever. Amen. By his glorious wounds, may Christ guard us and keep us. this night and always. Amen. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound a loud, a mighty King's triumph. Be glad, let us be glad as glory floods her. Ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. 
the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just with ardent love of mind and heart and with devoted service of our voice to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ our Lord, His Son, His only begotten, who for sake paid Adam's debt to the eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you led your fathers, Israel's children, from slavery in Egypt, and made them pass dry short through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to His holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. O oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault, that gun so great, so glorious a Redeemer, the sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth, and divine to the human. On this your night of grace, O oh, Holy Father, Accept this candle, a solemn offering, 
the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. Therefore, Lord, we pray you, that this candle, hallowed to the honour of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets, Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest, highest. and peace, peace to his people on earth. earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. A dylaniad o lythyr Paul at y Rhyfeiniaid. Ydych chi ddim wedi deall? Pan gawson ni'n bedyddio i ddangos ein bod yn perthyn i'r mesaia iesu, roedd yn un uniaethu a'i farwolaeth e. Wrth gael yn bedyddio, cawson ni'n claddu gydag e, am fod y person oedd yn i o'r blaen wedi marw. Ac yn union fel y cafodd y mesaia ei godi yn ôl yn fyw, drwy nerth bendigedig y tad, dynnynau hefyd bellach yn byw bywydau newydd. Os ydyn ni wedi huno a'i farwolaeth, dyn ni'n siŵr o gael ein huno hefyd a'i atgyfodiad. Mae beth roedd e'n ni'n arfer bod wedi cael ei ladd ar y groes gyda'r mesaia, er mwyn i'r awydd cryf sydd yno mni i bechu ollwng gafael yno ni, ac yn i beidio ei wasanaethu ddim mwy. Os ydy rhywun wedi marw, mae'n rhydd o afael pechod. Ond os ydyn ni wedi marw gyda'r mesaian, dyn ni'n credu y cael ni fyw gydag e hefyd. Fydd y mesaia ddim yn marw beth eto, a mae fod wedi godi yn ôl yn fyw. Does gan farwolaeth ddim gafael arno bellach. Wrth farw, bi oedd e farw unwaith ac yn byth i bechod, ond bellach mae e'n byw i glodfori dyw. Felly, Dylech hithau hefyd ystyried eich hunan yn farw i bechod, a byw mewn perthynas am reseia iesu, er mwyn clodfori dyw.
according to St Matthew. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee, where they will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A verse from our Gospel reading. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he's been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. In fear and in joy, the women ran from the tomb to tell the disciples what they had seen. Perhaps they grew less certain of what they'd seen as they ran. Joy, fear, incredulity. And the message told by Matthew later on. He will meet you in Galilee. But as the Gospel stories tell us, he met Mary a few minutes later in the garden. He met Peter and the Twelve and some of the Apostles who were locked, terrified, behind closed doors in the upper room in Jerusalem. Yes, we have stories of Jesus meeting them in Galilee. We have stories of Jesus meeting them on the Emmaus Road. The angel's clear, he'll meet you in Galilee. No mention of Jerusalem, Emmaus or anywhere else. So what do all these different stories coming at us from the New Testament tell us? They tell us one thing, that there wasn't a committee sitting afterwards in Jerusalem, Galilee or anywhere else trying to work out the story they were going to tell. There was nobody trying to make them be on message. Each of them told it and continued to tell it until their life's end to those who would listen what had happened to them. Those who had been the ones to see the angels, those who had been the ones to see the risen Lord, some privileged to eat with him, some privileged by the Lake of Galilee to have the risen Lord cook them breakfast some to meet them in a house in a village just outside Jerusalem, to meet him and talk with him on the road for some while without ever recognising him and only recognising him when he broke the bread and finally disappeared. There was nobody trying to make them say something that would be believed. They weren't spinning a tale, planning for a church, they were bearing witness to what they had heard and seen. He is risen. And that is what we do. We carry on bearing their witness. We ourselves have not bumped into, had breakfast with, or met physically the risen Lord. But we as a church are those who have passed on the story and we are the 2000 year old later recipients of that same news. We have seen the Lord. Put my, your fingers in my side, Jesus said to Thomas. And Jesus. Put your fingers in my side, Jesus said to Thomas. And Thomas told the story of him doing so 
for the rest of his life. We have told their stories, but we are also called to tell our stories. And like those first disciples, we don't have to massage the story. We don't have to learn the right gospel and get the right message. Yes, those of us who are theologians and teachers have to reflect on the experience of the church through the centuries, on the teaching of the church through the centuries and on the scriptural witness and to pray and reflect and to try and say what the gospel is. The gospel that is yesterday, today and forever and the gospel as it impacts on us now. But each of us as individuals tells our own story of our meeting with the risen Lord. And that is what has its power. Not a nice tidy message where all the questions are tied up, where nobody has any leftover dangly bits, but us telling why Jesus means so much to us and why despite it being a very strange tale, one almost impossible to believe were it not to be true, that Jesus is alive and by his spirit meets people today. And because we're not trying to be on message or package a club, but simply to bear witness to what the risen Lord through his spirit has done in our lives, we can continue to tell our story at a moment in our history as a nation that seems to speak against the care of God. Where is God in this pandemic? As people have said through the centuries, perhaps, through the back death, through the Spanish flu, through the refugee camps of our world today, through the people in Britain who in the last few years have died from hunger, died on the streets. Those of us for whom this part of suffering in quite this way is a new experience are extremely blessed. But for others through history, suffering is normal and the church has always had to wrestle in where with God. And we're not called upon to come up with easy answers. We are called upon not to dodge the question. We are called upon to live with the question. And the crucified Jesus is not an answer to that question, but it speaks of God in human form in Jesus Christ standing alongside us in our suffering. And this resurrection hope, therefore, is hope for us that out of our suffering, new life is born. That when we walk through the shadow of death, Jesus accompanies us and brings us through into the life of eternity. And that until that point, Jesus by his spirit, as we ask him, walks with us through our trials and troubles, as well as in our joys and hopes. So as we celebrate Jesus' victory over death this Easter time in the midst of the coronavirus, let us hold on to hope. But more than that, let us open our lives here and now to the transforming grace of God. Let us put our hand in his hand and let him accompany us through what the next few days, weeks and months will bring. May God be close to you and may the risen Jesus rise afresh in your hearts today and always. Amen. The light of the risen Lord illuminates the darkness of our hearts and minds. On this holy night, let us turn to Christ our light, offering our prayers in his name for the church and all people. For all who live in the dark shadow of war and violence, may the light of Christ dispel their fears and bring peace and reconciliation. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Dros bawg sy'n byw yn hawyllwch dyfn unigrwydd. Boi di olain i crys lewyrchu yn ei calonau, a dwi'n ni ddynt gysyr a thawelwch meddwl. Dywedodd dyw, byddet golain ni, a bi golain ni. For all who live in the darkness of sickness, pain and suffering, may the light of Christ overcome their fears and bring them healing and wholeness. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Dros y rhai sydd mewn tywyllwch am fod arnyn tofn marwolaeth. Bwyd i olau ni crys, lewyrchu yn ei colonau, a drachafu a'i llygaid i'r nefoedd 
ac i'r gobaith yn galwyd ni iso. Dywedodd dim byddet golau ni a bu golau ni. For those whose darkness is filled with tears and mourning, may the light of Christ glow in their hearts and bring them peace and consolation. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Dros y rhai sy'n trigo yn hywyllwch am hyon a di galondid. Bwy di olau ni crist ddwyn de allturiaeth i'w meddyliau ac estyn i fynd ar weiniad a gobaith. Dywedodd dyw, byddet golau ni a bu golau ni. For all who have been raised to light through the waters of baptism, may the light of Christ be our constant guide and lead us in the way of goodness and mercy. God said, let there be light, and there was light. O powerful God, you raised Jesus from the darkness of death to the height of heaven. May we, who rejoice in his resurrection from the dead, bring his light and peace to the world you created. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty Everlasting God, because in his victory over death a new age has dawned, the long reign of sin is ended, a broken world is being renewed, and we are once again made whole. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forevermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him accept our sacrifice of praise and grant that by the power of your Spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be for us his body and his blood who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Arin mor supper, Gomero the Cupan are Rodio Hitti, where Rodo Vivin Gantua Guide of Vucho Hunbau, or Heroid Hun Evan Guide, Guide a Cabamod Newid, a de Westy Drosso after Slower and a Dian's Pehodai, Gunel Hin, Bull True, a Rubble Head, a Cough and Dana. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. 
Christ will come in glory. Felly o dad, gan gofiau angau a chybol a gofodiad dy fawr, o fromyn i ti mewn diolch a barra hwn a cwpan hwn, dy roddi o'n i ni. A diolch yn y ti a mae'n cyfrif yn deil o'n i sefyll yn dy wyrdd a wasanaethu. Anfond y ysbryglan a'r bawl bo honom, sy'n rhannu barra hwn a cwpan hwn, cryf har a'i ffydd, gwnani un a croesawu ni a holl bobl i dernas o gwneddus dy fawr. Trwydd o ef, gydag ef, ac ynddo ef, yn un dod yr ysbryd lan, a iddo ti dad holl a ffiog, i'w'r holl a'n rydydd a gogoniant, yn oes o ysoedd. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us your peace. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death. 
to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. We say together, we thank, thank you, you, Father, for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son in this holy sacrament, through which we are assured of the hope of eternal life. We offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. Keep us in the fellowship of his body, the Church, and send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, who through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us the victory, give you joy and peace in believing. A bendeth deal who plafeo gata darma goras bridglan a buonaich pi, a kundrigo gida huin wastad. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Yeah.